This is the Current Affairs Prime Time. You're watching the Current Affairs Show, and I am Push Pandey. Let's see the first headline of the fifth and sixth of March headlines. The first headline. INS Virat, the world's oldest aircraft carrier in active service, will be decommissioned or has been decommissioned on 6th of March 2017 with a ceremonial send-off in Mumbai. Now, this particular INS Virat is under proposal to be converted into a luxury hotel by the Andhra Pradesh government. Let's see if that transpires. Uh, we hope that it does not go in the same line as its predecessor, that is INS Vikrant. Next headline. Center has launched the first ever across the river survey in Ganga to determine the population of aquatic life, including that of the endangered Gangetic dolphin. Now, the 2,525 kilometer Ganga for that particular river, this and for, for in, in fact for any river in India, this is a first of, of this survey in which the aquatic life would be would be audited, would be checked for, and measures would be suggested. Next headline. State Bank of India has decided to reintroduce penalty on non-maintenance of minimum balance in accounts from 1st of April 2017, that is the new fiscal year. Failing to maintain monthly average balance in the accounts will attract a penalty up to Rs 100 plus service tax. So in SBI, if you have a particular savings account, you have to maintain a monthly average balance. Let's proceed. The tallest national flag in the country measuring 360 feet was hoisted at the Atari Waga border at the joint check post in Punjab. Now, this particular, uh, this particular tricolor, this particular flag now could be seen from Lahore as well. Just kidding. Okay, the, earlier the record was held by the one in Rachi, which is 293 feet high. So now we have 360 feet. Next headline. In a cabinet meeting, the Assam government, led by the Chief Minister Sarba Nanda Sonowal, decided to make Sanskrit a compulsory language for students up to class 8 in the state. Now, we all know Sanskrit is an Asian language, and I hope every state follows suit because this language should be conserved. Next headline. The West Bengal government has given an official status to Kuruk language in the state which has been listed as an endangered language by the UNESCO. Let's proceed. The cabinet renamed the Vijayawada Airport in Ganavaram as Nandakumari Taraka Ramara or NTR Amravati. The Tirupati Airport has been named at Reni Gunta has been renamed as Sri, Venket Sri, Venk Sri Venketeswara Airport. Let's proceed. World's oldest serving aircraft carrier, INS Virat retires. Center launches survey on gadgetic dolphins. SBI to penalize non-maintenance of monthly average balance, India's tallest tricolor hoisted at Atari border in Punjab, Assam cabinet declares Sanskrit as compulsory subject, West Bengal gives official status to the tribal language Kuruk. And the last headline. Andhra Pradesh renames Tirupati Airport and the Vijayawada Airport. Now let's have the, the, the quiz on these headlines. Name the oldest Indian aircraft carrier which has been decommissioned recently after serving the country for nearly three decades. And the answer, the answer here is, it is INS Virat. Next question. Name the Indian holy river in which central government has launched its first ever survey to determine the population of aquatic life recently. And the answer, the answer is, it is Ganga. Next question. Name the state in which India's tallest tricolor hoisted and the state is, it is Apna Punjab. Yes. Next question. Name the state in which Sanskrit has become compulsory subject up to class 8. And the answer, the answer is, it is Assam. Let's proceed. The Andhra Pradesh cabinet has recently proposed to rename Vijayawada Airport and Tirupati Airport as, and their names are, Ananda Muri Taraka Ramarao Amrati, Amravati Airport and Sri Venkateshwara Airport. Let's proceed. With this, we come to an end to a discussion of the 5th and the 6th of March headlines. This is Kushpane signing out from the Current Affairs Show. Peace out.